Hi, Gaia. And hi, Freddy. Let us know if you guys can see us and hear us. We're actually quite excited. I'm, I'm excited to be back because it's been it's been a good vacation, I would say. A long <laughs> good good for vacation. You, Thank you. I needed yeah. it. Good for you. How are you guys? How are you doing? I see that there's a lot of people from all over the world, as usual, and I'm happy to see that. So let's see who's up here. We have Anna K from a cold evening in Poland, she's saying. And then we have Virginia saying hi from New Mexico in the US. And then we have Camila saying hi from uh, Copenhagen. Hi, Camila. Hi, Loretta. Hi, Gabriela. Karen. Oh, there's a lot of people. Oh, loud and clear, apparently. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of good. That's nice to know. Well, today we have a special episode, but first of all, we have a special guest. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, Freddie is a dear colleague of mine and one mm -hmm. of my favorite people, I would say, actually. Oh, you're so sweet. I promise. You're too I really dear. like her a lot. <laughs> uh, and I'm actually happy that she agreed to do an episode with us because this lady over here, she knows a lot. I mean, and I mean a lot about scrap yarn. So tell us, Freddie, who yeah. are you? <laughs> I'm Freddy of Storrege in Danish, but you can just say Freddy. Mm -hmm. I know it's a hard name. It's a hard pronounce. name for me, so I'm always yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I'm a pattern design coordinator here at Hobby. Mm -hmm. uh, and that means that I'm the one uh, looking for new freelance designers to join us to make patterns. Yeah. Yeah, for Hobby. So if you are a designer, yes. <laughs> please write us because we're always looking for designers from all over the world so um yeah just write to yeah. freddy if you need the yeah. if you need your design out there um and yeah and then i'm a huge knitting nerd oh yes you yeah, are yeah i knit a lot every day all the time i have yarn on my brain Constantly. every day yeah. so it's the perfect job for me but, yeah, but i think that uh, i remember when you got hired here and you know we got to know each other a little bit more i know that you grew up basically with everything that has to do with fiber and craftings and yeah. textile because your mom did it a lot yeah and my then... mom uh, she sews a lot and she knits and she basically does everything everything handcraft yeah, yeah. everything yeah. so i did that too yeah i was almost forced but i loved it no yeah <laughs> i mean it's, yeah. At, at least it's a good thing yeah you know? it's a good thing thank you mom <laughs> <laughs> and hello to friend's yeah. mom if she's watching i don't oh, know if maybe she's i don't know um but I mean, uh, we have a super cool episode ahead of us. Mm -hmm. Like we said, we have Freddie talking about scrap yarn. Yeah. Together talking about scrap yarn mm -hmm. and more scrap yarn and scrap yarn and scrap yarn. Mm -hmm. From everything from inspiration, we're going to go through some uh, patterns that we found on interest or not patterns, but some inspiration uh, mm -hmm. that we prepared. Um, we also have, I mean, she has a lot of tips and tricks. Yeah. And we're going to go on... Um, I mean, just having a look on the patterns that we actually have on our uh, website, on hobby.com, uh, where you can actually um, get inspired because there's a lot of patterns out there that you can actually do with leftover yarns. Yeah, a lot. So we kind of picked a few and we're going to go through them. But first mm -hmm. and foremost, I want to not forget, we have chosen a winner for last time's giveaway. I know it's been a very long time ago. I don't know if you guys remember, I asked you, what is your spirit yarn from Hobby? And the winner mm -hmm. of that giveaway, the second giveaway, is Sabrina, Sabrina Christiansen. She said, my spirit animal, oh, sorry, not animal, my spirit <laughs> yarn animal, yeah. or my spirit yarn is fantasy yarn. It's a super soft and ever-changing in color reflecting my emotions, changing constantly because I'm a softie. My favorite is either space creation because I love space and I would love nothing more than to go there or underwater because it reminds me of the sea and it calms me. So oh, we really like it. Nice. It was really yeah. sweet. And I would have never, I mean, it was a very original um, uh, response too because I would have never thought about fantasy, you know. So No. And I don't know if you guys know, but Fantasy is a 100% acrylic yarn. Um, and it's it's awesome for everything, blanket to, yeah, to a lot yeah. of, you can do everything. Kind of a with big it. yarn. Yeah, it's yeah. a pretty chunky yarn. Yeah. So I would say it's great for uh, for blankets and yeah, pillowcases. Yeah. yeah, perfect for the autumn season. So congratulations, mm -hmm. Sabrina. I will actually email you tomorrow to uh, get your address and all of that. And moving on. We have a giveaway for today. Mm -hmm. 
and it's actually a pretty cool giveaway that Freddie helped me pick. Oh, yes. And we made this giveaway with, oh, yeah, <laughs> there we go. We made this giveaway with scrap yarn in mind and we're gonna get to it, but pretty much this is it. You have everything from Horizon to, um, is this, yes, Sultan Deluxe Shine. I don't know if you guys know, but this is a brand new yarn that we have that has glitter in it. If it would mm -hmm. focus, but it won't. I'll fix that later. <laughs> um, then we have a ginormous mega ball that can help you actually almost make an entire project out yeah, of it. Yeah, it can. And some universe I see here. And then we have some tweed oh, as well. One. We love tweed, it's yeah. awesome. And yeah, some more glitter. Yeah, some more I love, glitter. I love glitter, guys. Yeah, so yeah. we're gonna get to uh, each and every single one of these yarns if we're gonna get to them because they have a meaning. I mean, we chose them for a purpose yeah. and Freddie's gonna explain why. Yes. So this is what you can win today if you participate in our giveaway and it's quite easy to do so. All you have to do is write exclamation mark, scrap yarn and send it in the chat. I'm gonna start the giveaway in a second. Mm -hmm. So right now actually, just so that we don't, so we can stay, uh, there we go. And it has begun, I hope. <laughs> Yo. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, there, there we are. go. It's yeah. on. So exclamation mark, scrap yarn, only one exclamation mark. And don't use caps locks. Just follow how everybody else is writing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's much, easiest. Yeah. It's easiest. Um, so let's get into today's episode because uh, yeah, we have a long uh, we have a long way to go. So, mm -hmm. Freddie, let's start with the beginning. What is scrap yarn? Because maybe some yeah. of you are here and you're like, w w what what is that? So scrap yarn. It's basically all the leftover yarns that all of us have at home. Yes. And we have a lot of it. Yeah, we have a lot. Yes. So you buy, you want to start a new project, you buy mm -hmm. a yarn, mm -hmm. you buy an extra skein or two because yeah, you can't help yourself. No. Or you go to the, your local yarn shop or to Hobby and you buy or just that one skein because it's so pretty. Yeah. Or and you don't know what to make of it, but you, but just you need, need to have it. You need to have it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I get it. And then you end up with all this beautiful, beautiful yarn that lying there. Yeah. And being tucked away yeah. and being forgotten. Yeah. And that's where the scrap yarn projects come in. Yes. Because they need to be made into beautiful stuff. Give like scrap yarn one, another chance. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys are noticing because, okay, mine is not that hard to uh, see. It is simply a top. You can see the. It's simply mm -hmm. a top and it's just stripes. I made it because I had one skein of Arezzo. This is linen and cotton. Mm hmm. Um, Super nice. And basically, I had one skein of each color and I didn't know what to do. So I did a very short crop top out of it. And mm. I love it. I think it's so happy and it's just nice to wear. So nice. But your scrap yarn. Yeah, this is something top else. Is like out of this world. This is like a mohair fluffy dream. Yeah. Of mine. Uh, it's made out of, I think it's three strands of mohair kid mm -hmm, silk. Mm hmm. And then one strand of scrap yarn. So that's basically uh, ends of scraps that I tied together and knitted into my project. So all the colored ones, it's a base of white kid silk. And then all the colors are scraps. And it's crazy beautiful. Yeah. So I basically, I can show you here. I actually have some. <laughs> it took scraps like this. Oh my God, yes. Please yeah. show it a little more. <laughs> oh Just wow, it's crazy. A lot of ends. And some of them are, so as you see, they are like this size or shorter, oh, yeah. longer. It's like spaghetti. It's like yarn spaghetti. Yeah, and this basically. one is like a glitter something that went like crazy. <laughs> and I just cut or pull like this and then I tie it together. Oh, wow. And then I knit it into a sweater. So that's a way to, and this, these are also some of the, uh, 
if you knit a sweater and you have a long cutoff end from your cast on or bind off, yeah, you always save it in a I bag. I save everything in a bag, like the long ones, but also the short ones on this length because you can yeah. use that for stuffing. Exactly. For amigurumis or pillows or anything. So I save everything and it takes up a lot of space, but you can just knit some more. That's so crazy. Yeah, so bro. that's basically. And these like and you have like all sorts of like I can see like all sorts of weights. It's not just the same. It's it's no, literally all. all your scrap yard. Yeah, basically. and you can see that here too. Like yeah. So I have one here that's really thick. And then I have one single strain of just glitter yarn that's really thin. Yeah. So, but combined, it matches the gauge. Yeah, exactly. So it's not a problem. And then sometimes it doesn't match the gauge, but. Who cares? It's not, yeah, it's really. Not, yeah, exactly. Yeah, just have fun with it. So that's that's just. Yeah, and here I chose colors that was kind of uh, pastels and stuff, and not that much black. Mm -hmm. But you can do whatever. Yeah, because I saw you have a whole. She has a whole bag, guys. Yeah. She has a whole bag. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, like this. So oh that's, my god! <laughs> yeah, I can what be buried in this. <laughs> so that's every time I have something, or if I have like a. A skein of yarn that's super annoying to work with because there's a lot of knots and stuff. I just cut it and it feels super great. If you're having a bad day or something, cut it, cut it, cut it. And then just tie knots again. And then you have a whole This new. is just crazy. Okay, I did not expect this. I know you said you're going to bring your, your scrap yarns. And I was yeah. expecting like a small little bag or something. No. But wow. Yeah, and that... This super ugly yarn. I don't know where it's from. It looks like a. <laughs> yeah. It looks really bad. It looks like a, a like baby poo. I buy it at thrift stores sometimes to yeah. get the really crazy ones. Look at this. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, fluffy. Yeah, that's a crazy one. Wow. So yeah. Oh, look at this. Okay. That's insane. Yeah. So just everything and everything works. Like sometimes I just close my eyes and pick one and then, okay, that's the one I'm going to work with. All yeah. right. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. All right. That's pretty crazy. It's really fun. Should you, can you pile this up back? <laughs> it's pretty insane, here. guys. I mean, yeah. so who would have ever way. thought? <laughs> that's one way to work with it. <laughs> oh, Cheryl yeah. is saying that is some crazy scrap yarn monster. Actually, <laughs> yeah. It looks like a little scrap yarn monster. I can't help myself. We have to name it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, wow. Yeah, it should actually have a name. It lives it's under the couch. It does he? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Give it a name, yeah, please. All right, guys. Help, help us. Name. Yes, please help us. Um, pick a name for for the <laughs> for the monster that lives the under uh, under Frederick. Yeah. Okay. So actually, you know what? I have a second giveaway for those of you who are not able to join us today. And wait. Oh, there it is. This mm. is the second giveaway. So oh, we yeah. have a nice little Horizon cake yarn really really nice we have some cool amigo chunky to test then we have i can see some alpaca blaze which is oh, a yeah. super soft yarn That's nice. and then we have some baby oh yeah some baby cotton then we have mm -hmm. some rainbow glitter so <laughs> just write uh give us uh, some inspiration what should freddy's yarn scrap yarn monster be called <laughs> So it's not just a monster. Exactly. That so we can pick a so we can yeah. pick a name for for your yeah. yarn it bag. Needs a name. Yes. It deserves a name. It deserves a name. Yeah. That's that's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. Pretty that's yes, it yeah. does. And uh, <laughs> I see that baby people are already uh, yay, Granny, you made it. The yarn, <laughs> the yarn troll. Oh yeah, that's that's, that's pretty funny too. <laughs> Scrabby. Tina is saying Scrabby. Oh, scrabby yeah. That's kind of cute too. Yarnster. Oh, that sounds good. Franken yarn. Oh my God. Franken yarn. Oh, Camilla, oh, that's the, a really good yarn. The, the, the Jedi. Jedi. Oh, Scrapsilla. All right, guys. All right. Yeah. That's that's pretty. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty I'm nice. Gonna, we're going to go through them all and pick the best one. Yes, we will yeah. pick the best one. Yeah. I promise we will pick yeah. the best one. Uh, but let's. <laughs> so that is what Scrap Yarn Art. Just uh, going to make a, a small sum up. Mm -hmm. Uh, today's episode is all about scrap yarn if you're just joining now and we have freddie in the house the scrap yarn expert and uh, she's gonna teach us uh, 
what scrap yarn is and what can we do with it and is it worth keeping all those ends is it you know let's get inspired together and i can see here that there's some leftovers oh, from yeah. her little scrap yarn it doesn't need to be ends just it can be half a half skein or just okay yeah so it can be so any kind anything, of love leftover just your leftover yarns okay yeah but uh you know what we prepared together a mm -hmm. little uh yarn scrap inspiration on mm -hmm. pinterest so let's have a look at it together and go through uh through the things we've chosen so here it is our little yeah. scrap yard inspiration pin board and let's start with i mean the the first four yeah we have oh. a little hat yeah that's super cute so here you can use like i would buy the main yarn the basic yarn for the hat and then yeah a lot of you guys crocheting a lot definitely mu you must have a lot of scraps at home yeah from, to make flowers yeah. basically out of them and you can make it in one color or choose several colors oh, yeah. and yeah also for the big cardigan that's super nice that one Oh yeah, Real I can see. Cardigan. Actually, it does feel very Andy Warhol-ish. Yeah, this one. It it's does. actually very cool. Um, Super nice. Yeah, because then if you have just one skein of the white and one skein of the yellow, and you don't know what to do with it, this is also a cool way to spice up an old cardigan. Yeah, that you, you can have. always do that. Yeah, exactly. Add something. Oh, and also the, with the cherries. Yeah, yeah, also with the cherries. That's basically. an easy way. What does that take? Like half a skein of red. Uh, yeah rainbow and half a skein of the here. green one basically yeah, yeah, yeah because because this is uh knitted but then the the little cherries are crocheted if mm. you guys can see that that's a fun way to experiment with different techniques as yeah well. exactly yeah. and let's see oh of oh, yeah. course here you can use all of your scraps and it doesn't matter what kind of yarn the quality mm -hmm. anything just have fun with it and do whatever squares basically. and whatever and yeah Sew them together. It's super beautiful, that one. Actually, it really is. Yeah, I want to make that one. I, I'm sure you do. Yeah. Oh, and here it is. This is more, what yeah. do you call it? This is more kind of like, kind of has the same, squares. yeah, and it kind of yeah. has the same uh, uh, colors in all of them, or, you know, it fits. Yeah. It's kind of, it's a little but, bit color but coordinated. That's the thing with scraps. So if you have a favorite color, what's your favorite colors? At home, what do you use? Pink, use? Yeah. pink, yellow, orange. So your a lot of your scraps at home must be in those colors because that's the main colors you choose for yeah. the bigger projects. Yeah, yeah. And before I started really doing scrap projects, mine were beige and pink too, actually. Oh, yes. So my my scrap yarns were all the same uh, shades of color, mm -hmm. and that's super beautiful as well. It doesn't need to be all rainbow mixed up colors. Yeah. 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 And look at this beautiful, oh, yeah. um, uh, this, I it's think I, we can call it a crocheted yeah. top. Uh, and Super just the cute. ice creams, it's so adorable. Yeah. And I mean, it's not hard to make those little ice creams no, and then just all. sew them on or, or even crochet them in. Yeah, you can do in that the, too. Yeah. yeah. And then bam, you mm -hmm. have like a very boring uh, kind of top and you can just spice it up with your leftovers. Yeah. And it feels so great when you use up one of your yeah. leftover yeah. schemes. Yeah, like, it actually, yeah. Check. Yeah, exactly. It yeah. feels like you're not throwing away money yeah. or, yeah, exactly. It's so nice. Oh, and look at this. Oh, this yeah. one, I saw it and I thought it was gorgeous because this is kind of like so intarsia uh, mix of colors. And, and you can I see mean, oh. how fun it is to make. So you yeah. just, oh, I'm knitting with the orange one and now I'm going to do the blue one. Oh, I'm tired of the blue one. I'm going to add another one. So that's super nice. Yeah. I want to make one of those, I think. Yeah. Would you help me, Jaya? I will try. Yeah. We should make the one together. Maybe that's also a fun way to do scrap. So I knit something and then you take over and you knit another one and yeah. it changes. But look at this. Yeah. This is just a beanie, okay? But yeah. it is so wow. original, I think. Because I'm not sure that this is scrap yarn. I actually it don't could think. Be color shifted. I think it's just color shifting yeah. yarn, but nonetheless. You get the feeling of it. Exactly. Yeah. And you can you can combine these colors to, yeah. you know, achieve something like this and then knit or, or crochet a hat like that. That's super nice. And then we have Lekke Baga's super cool uh uh, yep. brioche cardigan which is just the big mind blowing brioche, yeah you call it yeah yeah that's super beautiful with the 
with the just slightly colorful in yeah. the back. Yeah, it's super super I love nice. That one. Yeah, and same with this. Mm -hmm. If you just have like that's a little like bit me. of the same. Yeah, like you did with that one. One skein yeah. of each, basically. If you have one sc one skein and it's just like it fits the gauge on yeah. other yarns, then you're you're good to go. And then what else do we have? Oh yes, we have like a bag again. The with alone her together the sweater. alone together the sweater, sweater, sweater. She did during the lockdown exactly yeah where everything was closed down of course yeah and then she went home and took whatever yarn she had and created a pattern yeah like that one yeah it's super this beautiful. is the one yeah it's actually quite easy to make yeah i'm, I'm currently trying to make it i yeah, just don't have time for it i brought it with me but i don't have time but i i i'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get there look. We will have a look in a second. Oh, and here's, yeah, that's the ombre effect. I but love yeah. that. So you go from the pink one to the white one and just changing and putting in a little orange and a little blue just yeah. to spice it up. Yeah. Whatever you feel like. What that's do you guys think? Do you, do you guys like a scrap yarn project so far? Or do you think that's, that's a little too crazy for you? But that's the thing. You can actually tone it down a lot. You don't need to make it crazy crazy you can just know exactly this is not this is not crazy for instance no. the one she made here you can tone it down a lot and just yeah. choose so if you use only blue colors mm -hmm. it will get a completely different look oh yeah i can see it yeah. here there you have a base yarn that's blue and then you have like all the colors in the world mm -hmm. as the scrub yarn mm -hmm. but oh and yeah. look at this one. Oh, i actually have that one Oh, you brought it with you? Uh, we're actually going to get there because yeah. I'm actually just going to switch very quickly this to one. our webcam. It's that one. Yeah, it is. Because uh, Freddie worked with, with Lacke before. She was her test knitter slash assistant. Yeah. So she actually got to... Yeah. Uh, it's actually pretty beautiful. Yeah, I love this That's one. It's actually super cool. I can't wait cool. for the weather to get a little colder. I know you can't say that. When it's still hot and sunny, sunny and Look nice. at this. It's like a little bat. Yeah, it is, actually is. <laughs> That's so crazy. I would have never thought about these kind of sleeves. My boyfriend hates it. Really? He's like, are you wearing a knitted poncho? I'm like, no, it's a sweater. It's a very original sweater. I could say that this is actually... Yeah, and here, I think the square part is just stripes again, like yours. Yeah. Uh, out of mohair. So it's the same yarn that yeah. goes through it all. So you yeah. can buy... Just the normal amount of yarn, and then you can just shift the the kid silk. Oh, it's so beautiful! I love it. That looks like it could be a skirt too. Yeah, it actually, actually she made a dress. Didn't she also make a dress? Yeah, she did make a dress. Yeah, that just continued all yeah. the way down. Okay. Yeah, but you could do it as a skirt too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With well. these, I can't remember what you call them. This. Yeah, but, but still, yeah. Weird. Yeah, that's super beautiful. Mm -hmm. But you know, guys, we just have a few more. I really want to show you. Can you crochet that? Um, I'm not sure you can crochet that's knitted, but you could try to crochet something yeah, similar to that. Yeah, it must be possible. Yeah, it has to as be possible. As long as it's uh, not crocheted too tight. Yeah. So you get that airy feeling. Exactly. Yeah. And then right before we leave, I just want to show you guys oh, yeah. one that I think is just mind blowing. I just love this oh, because it's chunky, so crazy. And then we're good to go. Then we're going to be back yeah. to us. <laughs> Look at this. This is just crazy. I saw this and I thought, wow, that is so insane. I know that chunky yarn was super fashionable maybe a year ago. It still, still. is, I think. It's still pretty, you know, people still use it. And it's so nice because it goes so quick when you make it. Yeah, that's the nice thing a about it. A little tough for the hand sometimes, but you yeah. need to stretch them. Yeah. But Oh my god, it goes yeah. so fast. And this one is actually pretty cool with a pair of jeans. And you could crochet something like this. You could yeah. knit something like this. But let's go back wow. to the fact that it, you know, it's just scrap yarns. It's just leftovers. Mm -hmm. And it, they just fit together. It's like super random when you look at it, but it fits together. So I think it's just, I think that it's scrap a, yarn in general is just about just having fun. And choosing the colors you love yeah and play with it and more than yeah. that actually choosing the colors that you don't love too yeah that's because that's what too. you told me yeah. when i tried to start on a scrap project and you told me well you have to like you know use the colors that you like of course but mm -hmm. also use the ugly yarn yeah that you don't and you like. don't want to do that no i'm still a little bit like too scared yeah, i can actually show it here another scrap yarn of scrap project of mine oh like a very bulgy Look at that. That's actually pretty crazy. And here, let's say this section, 
Mm, can I show it? Let me see if it focuses now. I don't think it wants to, it doesn't want to focus from up close, but I can show it here. I can try to fix it meanwhile. So here I have basically a lot of red and yellow and green and very bright colors. And I did, it works now. Yeah. And I didn't mean to, that was just how the flow was. So a lot of bright colors. No, it doesn't. Yo, it does. Oh, there it is. Yeah. And on the other sleeve. It was just a lot of dark colors. Let's put it up close, close, close. Yeah, like here. Oh yeah, I can so see no that. bright red or bright yellow or yeah. anything, but you have it on the other side, and I think that you need something that calms the eye a little bit. So mm -hmm. I used a lot of, I don't know, ugly colors to yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the I don't know brownish yellow something that. I mean, if you look at it from up close. See how she has a lot of different textured yarn too? Like the yeah. little glitter yarn and there's even one that looks like Christmas yarn. Like that yeah. one. And then, yeah, I'm guessing that... I I'm guessing that there's a lot of colors that you don't specifically love yeah, but alone. To but together in this, it's yeah. just so cool. And I'm sure that this was very fast to make too. It was. It's on needle 10. Yeah. So really fast. And it's and garter only stitch, no. so only knit. Yeah, no yeah. quill at all. I love that. And I know that you've crocheted together. So you've yeah, knitted in pieces did. and then you crocheted it together. Yeah. And so that actually looks kind of nice. A really chunky. Yeah, you get like a chunky thing. vein, but it yeah. also gives a little bit of a, what do you call it? It gives a little bit of a, kind of like a geometric form. If you look at it like this, it's very like cut. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you're not trying to hide. No. The seam. Exactly. Yeah. It's very beautiful. So I that's love it. Another way to work with it. I love it. Speaking yeah. of which, mm? this is how far this is how far I've gone with my scrap yarn. There you can really see your favorite colors. Yes, exactly. That's, that's yeah, yeah, right there. This is just me. Yeah, like I cannot. You knitted your. Face, but I, I kind of tried to do an ombre thing, and I started with white, mm? and then I went into like this kind of like yellow section, but. This was all random, the way the colors kind of flew in. Oh, and you have this little... Yeah. It was very there. random. Oh. It's got... Oh. Oh, no. Uh oh Well, we'll get it. I'll yeah. get it. But it was just very random. It was just not very thought through. And then it actually fitted when I was knitting it. The yellow landed where the yellow was. And the pinks landed where the pinks are. And the reds where the reds are. Like, you can definitely see it here. You know? <laughs> but that was yeah. not... On top of each other? Yeah. 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 But that was not... You know, it I didn't no 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 it wasn't it was just the way my uh yeah it was just the way it turned out oh here it is again the there it board. is look at this this is what i have so far of scrap come on i think we have to move away from the frame so that it doesn't come on man there oh, yeah. we go Woohoo! so it's basically just little yarns just tied together with knots and yeah. yeah very random and sometimes i i even combine strands of yarn well you won't be able to see it but i okay. kind of several strands to match the ah. gauge right yeah. yeah yeah exactly that's what you can do when you have thinner yarns and you're using thick needles like you are here yeah, yeah. Is that a seven or something That's a nine a nine oh okay yeah. yeah then you can just use several strands of yarn yeah and then, like you see here, I'm basically knitting with this ball. Mm -hmm. And then next to this, I have kind of like a, I don't know what this yarn is. It's some leftover yarn. You found at home yes. that you had 10 skeins of or something. More than 10 skeins. Yeah. <laughs> because I actually decided to do something more crazy and not just focus on having uh, the white. Well, my base is white, right? But I'm not yeah. doing a white base with only one type of yarn i'm doing a white base out of just random whites <laughs> yeah so it's all sorts of whites like this one i know wool? that this one is wool? i think it's wool and bamboo together oh. so it's kind of soft and i just kind of like mix it up and like this is also like one little scrap yarn left over if it would focus i don't know what's wrong with the camera today yeah. it's like doesn't want to focus when it nah, doesn't matter doesn't matter anyway so that's what I'm doing now. This is this is the back. I can't wait to see it. This is the back of my Finished. project, 
and yeah it's just gonna be like a like like the together alone one because yeah the pattern is free on her instagram mm -hmm. so why not have some fun and you know what it feels like i'm doing art when i'm actually yeah. making it it like feels painting. like painting i swear mm -hmm. to god i've you know i'm so uh, uh crazy and so strict about how i knit and the yeah. colors i choose and i like to combine color colors but i also like to be very you know calculated and okay i'm just like you know mm. half a gauge too much like half a centimeter too much or oh, i have to go down in, in this like, is a good so, yeah yeah it it's is. a good way to uh, challenge yourself a little bit because yeah. i used to do that a lot and i still do that like it needs to be perfect and everything and then you do something like this and you cut the yarn all the time it feels so forbidden <laughs> when you knit or crochet <laughs> yeah and tie a knot and it's like oh you can't do that you can't do it. it's not allowed but here it is. It's just a part of the design. Precisely. Yeah. So don't be scared uh, of uh, of doing that. No. And you know what? Let's, Let's see what else do we have on our... So that's pretty much mm? scrap yarn and what scrap yarn is. To get an idea. Yeah. To get it started. Mm -hmm. And now we actually selected a few patterns from our website mm -hmm. that you can simply download. They're free. Some of them are not. But you can download them and then you can, you know use your leftover yarns to make them basically yeah so we've um, chosen some so we've chosen ones. the alley yeah. sweater mm -hmm. the yeah. alley sweater i'm gonna actually show you guys so you can see this is the alley sweater let me just plus 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 so we can see it up big so the alley sweater is a chunky fluffy and colorful um sweater with a v-neck as you see mm -hmm. it here let's just have it that's super nice up close and I mean, this is made using a uh, winter glow, I think. Yeah, yeah, winter glow and a mohair delight strand. But nonetheless, you could also use a base and then some scrap yarn yeah. to create Easily. this effect. All the scraps you have at home. And here exactly. you, you can choose the... So again, if you knit a lot in pink colors or blue mm -hmm. colors, you would have a lot of blue scraps at home. Mm -hmm. And you can use that to create that color changing look that the winter glow have or you can buy the winter glow and add another one uh, yeah to make it even more crazy yeah. exactly and then uh, the same with that we have i think it was monica sweater so this is yeah. ali but if you actually check out the monica sweater monica is pretty much the same as um as um as uh, ali but it's with a you know a rounded neck yeah and I think also the sleeves are not as puffy. No. They're a little bit more straight. And it doesn't have a rip down here. No. And I actually made this and I love mm -hmm. it. And I think it's very fun. And I actually want to do it again, but using a base and then uh, and then uh, using one of these, which is the Manaya. I don't know if you guys have seen this yarn oh, yeah. before, but it's actually pretty, pretty cool. Those colors are so nice to I love these and again, colors. With these look at that. Bulge of yarn. Sometimes I think they're really good at putting colors together that I would wouldn't normally match. Mm -hmm. And here you need to do it. Yeah. They did it for you. Exactly. And that's a way to throw yourself into these projects as well. Yeah. Because it can be a little bit intimidating sometimes to mm -hmm. oh, but this color doesn't go with this one and oh fuck now. Oh, I can't say that. No, you but can't. <laughs> Sorry. But I will uh, yeah, take care um, of that. But but here someone set the colors together for you. Mm -hmm. and so you don't have to think yeah. too much about it. No, basically. and that's nice. Too, yeah. Sometimes. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. I know that I know that the I know that making a project like this will also what do you call it? Uh, break your if you're used to always knitting or crocheting with one single color. Mm -hmm. then you're going to, you know, really overcome that fear of yeah. only using like blocks of color or, or, or stuff like that. Right. Yeah. And that's for the knit, but I know that we also prepared some, uh, some stuff for, um, some projects, basically some patterns for knit for crocheters as mm -hmm. well. And it could be, for instance, the frill top and let me just find it here. Can you tell us a little bit about the frill top actually? Yeah. Cause I know that you've seen. Oh yeah, that one is. So I nice. love this one. It's so cute. I yeah, think it's, it's crochet really... like granny stripes. Yeah, let me just um, show you guys. There it is. Yeah, it's a it's and a plus pattern, and it goes up to two XL. So that's really nice from S to XL. Mm -hmm. 
What kind of yarn I can remember? I think it's bamboo, hobby bamboo. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's rainbow yeah. bamboo. That's super soft and it's actually in the giveaway as well, right? Yeah, it is in the giveaway, but uh, okay. that's yeah. one. Yeah. And here again, just like your sweater you're wearing today, your t shirt, uh, you have a lot of different colors and you yeah. can just put them together so you can buy whatever you feel like or use your leftovers yeah. mm -hmm. or combine those. Mm -hmm. So find your leftovers and add. Also, maybe you only have the yellow ones and yeah. you want to add a little pink yeah. or yeah. a little blue and then yeah. just add up with one or two skeins. Exactly. This one is super nice with the frill. Uh, I love the little frill, yeah. the sleeves that you see there. Yeah. That's so cute, I it think. It really is. Yeah, that's and a very... the color she put together. She's really she did a really, really yeah. good job, I think, with the colors. I love that I one. I see that she picked ginger, she picked almond, curry, bronze, burnt terracotta, powder rose, navy she, blue, then a blue. She used a lot of different colors, and you can also just make it in two. Or, yeah, yeah, or, or in you several. can add like only different colors, so you mm -hmm. don't have one stripe that goes again. Precisely. Yeah, so you can just have fun with it. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. So head out and, and uh, you know get get the pattern if you if something like this would interest you yeah it's pretty much an alternative to what i've done and what i'm wearing right now which is simply just blocks of color that's basically just crocheted yeah so if you have the same yarn but just one skein or maybe two skeins of each that doesn't mean you can't make a sweater out of it no not at all or a top or a cardigan even or i don't play know. with the colors mm -hmm. and find out what combination fits you and your mood today. And speaking yeah. of which color combination fits you, mm -hmm. I actually want to add some extra yarn to our giveaway mm. today because as you guys have seen, this is our giveaway for today. Oh. Yep. It's a basket filled with love, as I call it, not yarn. <laughs> and I want you guys to choose. So I kind of mm. want to add, I don't know if you guys yeah. noticed, but we have a new yarn on the block, which is Metallica Fine. It's basically Metallico, but thinner, <laughs> which is super, super, mm. super beautiful. And I have here a combination of blues and greens and kind of like really nice. And then Freddie has a color combination mm -hmm. of pinks and beiges. And it's pretty yeah. much her colors, right? It, and some golden. Are, so yeah. here are the colors. Mm. So if you prefer mine, please use a blue heart. And if you prefer Freddie's, please use a purple heart. Yes. Why not? Or yeah. pink or, you know. Whatever. Red-ish. Red-ish, pink-ish. Yeah. And then we'll add it to our uh, giveaway basket. Mm -hmm. The more hearts we get. There we go. So that it stays there. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That's a... Okay, they're fighting now. Okay, so let's see. Here it is. Oh, the blue takes da -da -da. over. The purple one comes in. Oh, oh we got some reds oh, too. Oh, a lot of purple now. Oh, I don't know, man. Come on, guys. Choose oh, wisely. This is a tough one now. We have a lot of purple, purple, purple. I think I'm winning. No, look, there's a lot of blues oh, yeah. now. Here comes the blues. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Now it just goes crazy. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. I still, I'm gonna, I'm gonna still let them, uh, let them choose. Meanwhile, and let's move on to talking about some other, uh, some other projects we have. Yeah, but we have, let's say the um, baby stuff oh yeah, yeah exactly because the baby okay baby things out of scrap yeah. yarns because you don't have to make this color shifting all crazy yeah. using and having to tie knots yeah. all the time no you can also just make smaller projects exactly scrap yarn is also good for smaller projects yeah. so if you if you don't have a baby or if your daughter or granddaughter don't have a baby or you don't have a baby in your family <laughs> in your proximity maybe you have a friend who has a baby and you want to yeah. give them some you know a gift that is made by you basically or right the hospitals sometimes. or the hospitals actually yeah. yes you i know that there's uh here in denmark we make little mice for uh kids. mice and um octopus yeah with those uh 12 yeah exactly uh, for hospital that's actually yeah. a really nice uh what do you call it a nice thing to do with your leftover yarns and yeah. then take it to the hospital because of smaller and... projects can we just mm -hmm. show yeah, some of the ones that oh, are the pacifier, pacifier and then we yeah. have the bonnet. But let's do the pacifier yeah. first, huh? Oh, it's I actually pretty cute. It's a new I pattern. love it. There it's it is. So cute. Free download, guys, on our yeah. website. And this is made using rainbow cotton. So if you guys have rainbow cotton leftovers out there, like a skein you or two, have. you have to have. Yeah. Please use it. There it is. Because see here, and you can use whatever color you feel like. And 
Okay, so, so so little yarn. Exactly. Into this. So what did she make? She made just like a band like yeah. that. Broop, and then she just created basically a little rainbow here, yeah. right? A little cloud here and a little ice cream here, right? Yeah. And all three of them are in the pattern, so Okay. Yeah, that's super easy. And it's it takes so okay, so how many meters of white do you need for this one? I don't know. I don't know. Five? No, I not at all. Not even. I'm not an expert on crochet, but this takes no yarn at all yeah exactly this so shouldn't that's a take a yeah. great way to yeah. use your leftover and yarn imagine even the little yarn. rainbow the little rainbow what, yeah. what could One, have two, that three, be four five six different colors in yeah. that little rainbow so yeah that's, that's no nothing. yarn exactly at all. and i mean if you don't if you want to if you know if you have this is, I think this is good for when you have a little bit of yarn. Yeah. But if you have maybe more than one skein, something nice would be something like this if you're a knitter. Yeah. Uh, so basically making a, a bonnet for a, for a child. This is made mm -hmm. in, yeah, in baby organic in cotton. In one skein. In one skein. Yeah. But nonetheless, uh, cotton is good enough. You know, it mm -hmm. doesn't have to be uh, organic or anything like that. If you have a skein of cotton laying around there, do it. I would prefer to do it in baby cotton organic because I love organic cotton for babies. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, this has a whole nice. set, and I think that even the bloomers and the and the the, the vest, mm. I think it just uh, one what, or two one or two skeins, yeah. and then you're good to go. And then you don't need. And if you want to make a matching set, it doesn't need to be uh, in the same color. No, exactly. No, so you can use a lot of your yeah. leftover yarns. Yeah. Scrub yarns. I mean, there. if you yeah. if you take it if you take it like this. Maybe you can make this upper part in one color, mm? this top I part in a different color. You I have, you have more. Yeah. You have more for us. Yeah. It's another thing. Oh, she's bringing something. I started a sweater for Ooh. my niece the other day, using our uh, unicorn. Unicorn. Ah, oh, that's adorable. Yeah. And then I ran out of unicorn. I only had one skein. And then I had so some leftover. I don't know what kind of yarn it is. The purple one. Yeah. But then I was like, oh. I ran out of the multicolored uh, unicorn and mm -hmm. then, I, okay, let's put some purple sleeves on. Okay. And then I just did the ribbing in unicorn as well. I'm just going to show it up close. That's so and I adorable. Think that this little girl, four years old, she will Look love at it. this, guys. This is in so cute. Unicorn colors. Sorry for the little, uh, I'm dangling the needles. So that's another way to combining. So I ran out of the. The, the base unicorn, yarn, yeah. yeah. The I wanted yarn. to make it completely in unicorn. I was like, yeah. okay, maybe I have enough. So I didn't. Cute. It has little pockets. Too. I saw it. It's so yeah. cute. And <laughs> then I need to do something to make it work. So it had a sleeve. That's adorable. I yeah, so that, love it. That's another way. Both when knitting and crocheting. It's a great way. Yeah. Just yeah. just use them. Yeah. Just stop leaving. It will look great. Yeah, exactly. And people will be happy for what you make for yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. In a way. Well, you know, guys, you guys are picking and picking and picking colors. You know what? Stop, 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 stop. I, I cannot pick between. I'm going to pick. I'm going to put all of these. All of these in the giveaway. It's so sweet of you. I know. I know. I, I just can't. I can't help <laughs> can't it. Because it. <laughs> then I've, I've been looking at the chat to select, okay, is there more blue hearts? Is there more pink or purple hearts? But I just, yeah. So you can just, yeah. I'm going to add all of these six Metallico skeins in one. And Metallica you fine. could actually Metallica fine, sorry. Mm -hmm. And you could actually make a project out of this. Yeah, you could easily. Just like something like a top a crocheted or whatever stripes, mm -hmm. you can make it out of these six. Or skins. a nice scarf. Yeah, exactly. Or a hat. Or, or a hat, exactly. Mm -hmm. You can do a lot of stuff. So I'm just yeah. gonna add this right here. There we That's go. That's really nice. I know. Right. I know. Somebody's gonna be happy. The person's mm. gonna win that. Yay! Yeah. All right, well, moving on to our next, let's see. So we have the baby stuff that you can do. Then we, yeah. then you can do also like sweaters, basically. Sweaters, like we've shown, or knitted. crocheted or knitted. Tops also mm -hmm. as well work very fine. And then we have the amigurumis. Amigurumis, yeah. Amigurumis are a great um, yeah. way to actually make, um, to use your Again, leftover you yarn. Use so little yarn. Exactly. So you don't And need check a lot. this out, guys. Yeah. Check this adorable little thing out. This is the baby unicorn. It's it's a plus uh, it's a plus pattern, so you can buy it for six dollars. All the, those pretty colors. But look at these little yeah. guys! Come on, look at them. Yeah. I love them. I think they're adorable. So basically, if you have leftover all sorts of colors, just use them and just make crazy unicorn hair with it. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. 
It's very original. And I mean, I think wow. that I think that if you have a little girl in your family or a little boy that loves unicorns, I mean, they're gonna Come on, love and you this. Can, you can make some match the colors in different ways. You exactly. Can, these are multicolored, mm -hmm. but you can, again, choose to make only greens yeah. or... Yeah, purple and, I, and green or and yeah. I also love how she made like you know the feet imagine also making the feet in like a different yeah, color different. too you know yeah. just just do you just do what makes you happy oh and here's even a little glitter in the body yeah I think I think she used a little bit of glitter you can't see it too well but I think that yeah, yeah she even used the glitter up here so I think it's just a hokey uh, rainbow glitter but yeah this is very very cute and it's an awesome way uh to um I know. I saw that. I saw a comment from Sherry. She's saying I have three granddaughters that would love those unicorns, oh, yeah. and I'm I'm sure they would like. And you know what? For that one, all the cutoff ends. Yeah. When because there will be a lot of ends when yes. you tie knots. Exactly. You could stuff that one with those. Exactly. So all the little ends, also the one that's like five centimeters long or something. Yeah. That like I normally the little ones. just yeah. throw out. Stuff your animal groomers with those. Exactly. And then again, you, you don't have to buy stuffing. Exactly. Because you made that yourself out of your scraps. Precisely. Yes. And then you just use everything yeah. that you have. It feels so good. So it, I know it feels good. Yeah. I know I know that when I was tying, uh, you know, when I was making the little ball for my uh, for my scrap project, this one. Yeah. I felt so good making it because I thought to myself, wow, I'm actually not throwing away yarn even though of course i never throw yeah. away my yarn but it just feels no, like i'm giving some life to my when old you're yarn. digging through your stash and finding that old yarn that's been lying there for that you bought i don't know two three ten years ago maybe yeah and you're actually starting using it yeah it's oh. like huh yeah yeah, yeah. finally has it gives a you purpose yeah yeah, yeah. so uh so yeah so we have that and then we have also something else let's not forget yeah. about I know we showed it in uh, in the um, little um, Pinterest board that we've made, mm -hmm. but you can also make intarsia projects yeah. out of your or tapestry for crochet. or tapestry yeah. exactly. I actually didn't th think about that, mm -hmm. but one of my so favorite one of my favorite intarsia projects right mm -hmm. now that we have on the website is the sheepy sweater. Oh, yeah. I call it the sleepy sheepy. I don't know why. <laughs> the sleepy sheepy. Every time I see it, you I'm have like to count sheepy. the sheep. Yeah, exactly. Going to exactly. Bed. And this is a knitted intarsia sweater. Um, it has wow. a landscape with trees and sheep that are very fun to knit. Um, and it's made by one of our... Um, well, you can talk more about, yeah. about it's it. It's Highland wool. It's super soft and it's a super nice yarn to yeah, work with. I exactly. love it. And, and it's I have a lot of at home, actually. And it's at 20% oh, off yeah. now. So, oh. I mean, I'm not encouraging you to buy more yarn, but buy more yarn. <laughs> to make this one. <laughs> to make this one because uh, yeah. you never uh, regret buying yarn. But I mean... But oh. you can also buy, let's say you buy the purple one or whatever color yeah. you want to have, like the main part of the sweater. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you have a little white at home, a little black, or you want to make the tree, and you don't have to make the tree in green. You of can course make, not. You can make no. it in pink if you feel yeah. like it. And you can even change the colors of the little bubbles. Mm -hmm. So if you want to, you can make an apple tree. Exactly. So if you have a little bit of red at home, mm -hmm. use that one. So you can combine it in a lot of different ways. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's super beautiful. I actually have one. Oh yeah, you ha you brought an intarsia sweater yeah. with you, right? I have another Where one are you? down here that I made. She brought more because she I told you this woman is the queen of scrap yarn. So here I I bought the yarn for the base, the base. like the back here. Yeah. Can I help you? In blue. Holding it maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then wow, guys, basically, isn't that cute? Oh, see here? That's what I used for the sleeves for the uh, ch children's cardigan. Okay. That's the purple one I have here. Yeah. And then this is scrap. This is actually a yellow uh, scrap yarn that my mom had that she made something for me when I was a baby. Are you serious? And the pink one too. It's hand dyed something something wool. Okay. That I found at her stash. Wow. Her scrap stash. Yeah. And I made that because then I didn't need to buy new yarn just for this one or just for the moon or yeah, just yeah, for yeah, the yeah. little yeah. exactly this is adorable guys if you like this please put some sparkles because i think that this is one of the nicest sweaters i've ever seen in my entire life and you can do this this with the sheepy sweater as well right exactly so choose a nice yarn for the sheep or for the tree or for yeah, exactly. the background exactly just mix and match yeah and these are different kinds of yarn 
like this yeah, one can, and this I can one see, and this I can, one. I can notice them actually. Yeah. They're, they're a little bit different. Yeah, but... This is more rough, but actually I think that also the, um, the mohair that you used kind of brings it together. Yeah, because there's mohair in all of it yeah. to bring it together. Yeah. And then all the different colors are different kinds of yarn. Yeah. Oh, and this look is at that. We're oh, having yeah. a lot of little sparkles. I know. It's oh, very, very sweet. beautiful. I want to see this on the website as a new pattern, please. They're saying <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on it. <laughs> we'll work on getting something like that. Yeah. More in Tartier and tapestry patterns. Yeah. But uh, it's actually very, very, very pretty that you brought that one. I really, That's the another. first time, I remember the first time I saw you with that, I was mind blown. I thought that was the most cute, I, I can't even like, Again, I don't even know. That's like words. painting and drawing with yarn. Exactly, so, exactly. Yeah. And all of this with scrap yarn almost. Mm. Like that one is made, what, 50% out of scrap yarn? And yeah, 50%, I think so. Yeah. yeah. And then I, of course, went and bought the tweed yarn. Yeah. For the, the uh, sleeves and yeah. the back. And yeah. The, yeah, yeah. But it's still, So you can pretty. combine it as well exactly mm -hmm. i do that a lot well now that we've seen what we can actually make with all of these leftovers that we have mm -hmm. it's kind of like eating some leftovers you know yeah. I, I feel so bad when i have to throw food away if you yeah. know there's a case and uh, i don't know i'm invited to eat at my parents or yeah, something so. and i can't say no and i i already have food from like you know yesterday and i can't eat it and then it's not good anymore i feel so bad it's the same with yarn basically but this is just good because sometimes I feel that leftover food can be a little bit boring. Yeah. But leftover yarn, you can just you can stash that for years and find it again, and it feels like new yarn. That is true. Yeah, that is true. It really does. And now that you've given us a, a, a tip, or it wasn't a tip, but it was kind of like an encouragement of mm -hmm. like it's okay if you have yarn that is twenty years old, it's fine. You can still use it basically, yeah, like one, you've done. That I just turned thirty, so that one is I don't know twenty. 29 yeah that's pretty crazy years old yarn jesus that i man. found in the bottom of bottom of my mom's big drawer of, of yeah, yarn yarns <sighs> yeah one of them she has a lot she has several rooms well mm. nonetheless give us give us five tips at least give us your five best tips it's tips time yeah freddie's gonna give us her five tips regarding scrap yarn yeah so okay i think that one one experiment with colors don't yeah. be afraid maybe to begin with start with your favorite colors like jaya did yep. and then go more and more crazy because it gets so much fun you can't stop because the next round will not look like the previous ones so you have to make just another round just another round to yeah. see what it turns out because it changes so much yeah i agree so with that experiment with your colors buy the skein of yarn that you have already thought oh that's an ugly color just try it out because yeah. it is really fun and you discover something new yeah exactly yeah and also in terms of like uh but yeah so experiment with colors yeah. is your first mm -hmm. tip and then try making your own balls yeah no balls of yarn. of yarn, yeah, yeah, exactly like that one. I have another one, so here. Oh, yeah. oh. I experimented with yarn, <laughs> but here give it, give I combined one strand. It's actually um, we have it on uh, our website. It's a uh, nature wool. Yeah, from, nature wool. Uh, nature wool from uh, Yardegan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one strand of that, and then one strand of scrap, and when. Pink is my favorite it color. It looks like the, the, it's like the earth with the <laughs> yeah. little moon. It actually is. Pink is my favorite color. It's our favorite yeah, color. our favorite color. Our favorite color. Yes. Pink is what brings oh. us together. And then I used all the different kinds of colors. Mm -hmm. And I made one big ball. Yeah, and yeah, because yeah. I have the pink one, I love all of the colors in this one. So it doesn't feel... It doesn't too, feel like you too, went too far away no. from what you're used to, no. basically. So try that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't be afraid of mixing qualities. What do you mean by that? You mean the, the weights, the yarn weights yeah. or the yarn types? Both, actually. Both. Okay. When I started knitting, I only used wool yarns. Yeah. Like a lot of people. Yeah. At least here in Scandinavia. Yeah. And then I started doing scraps and I now I use, I can't help it. I buy all kinds of yarn. Acrylic bamboo it doesn't matter yeah what's important is Blends, the color yeah the colors and i don't care about what it's made of 
okay. right now. Yeah. Because I can just put it together with something else or use a base of wool mm -hmm. or whatever my favorite yarn is at yeah. the moment. Yeah. 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 So don't be afraid of that. And don't be afraid of mixing different yarn, different um, weights. Yeah, different yarn weights. Yeah. So yeah. a thinner and a thicker and a yeah. lace yarn with a because if super bulky yarn or if you use it together with a base yarn like I do here, yeah. like I have a thick one, the nature wool, yeah, and then different weights, it will create almost the same gauge at some I can point. See that. Yeah. yeah. So don't be afraid of that. It feels a little yeah, forbidden in it's the It's a beginning. little crazy actually when you think about it. Yeah, and sometimes it's And you would never think about doing it, but then you know, once you do yeah, it and you get this result and you can turn this into a sweater. A Come on, focus. Thank you. Yes, there we go. That's very, very original. Mm? Yep. All right. How many was that? Was that four? That's no, that was I think three. No, wait. And wait, don't forget. So so let's let's recap. Yeah. Don't be afraid of mixing colors. Yeah. Even colors that you don't like. Make the balls. Make the balls. Yeah out of the colors don't be afraid of mixing qualities mm -hmm. like acrylic bamboo merino yeah don't be afraid of mixing weights that's number four mm -hmm. and then the last one we've said it a lot just yeah. go for it just go have for fun it. with it exactly and don't be scared you will stop have, being scared yeah you will have crisis i made let's see i have another one <laughs> i'll just want to show you everything i made <laughs> <laughs> no, she's like, I will show you everything. This oh, is wow. a striped one. I made that one and I had several crises over and over again. It's not a bottom, it's a top. So here I added this, can I say ugly, like furry yarn or something in a really weird color. And I was like, oh my God, what did I do? I have like <laughs> 400 stitches in a round on this one. What did I do? What did I do? And then I just cut the yarn and I put some more. Look at the one up here. I'm sorry, but I just and have to show it up close. Oh, I'm I'm covering the mic. Oh, Wait, yeah. <laughs> I was covering the mic, guys. Sorry, but look at this one up here. It's so beautiful. I don't know what you've used there, if it's focusing. You see it there? Yeah. Kind of like a curry something. I don't know. You used like some crazy. Yeah, I think weird that's weird. That's textured. the weird yarn. Yeah. And I used so many ugly yarns for this and I had so many crises, but at the end I had so much fun making oh. it because there was no rules. And of course you can too. see that my favorite color again is pink, and, pink yellow. and yellow. But then I added this again furry red and furry something and yeah, I had... It's like a work of art you guys. Yeah, but I actually think I cried during when I made that. Really? Yeah one time because I was so, no, 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 I didn't put that color in. And then I just did it again here with the purple, purple, yellow and black together. I was like, no, 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 who puts those colors together? But then I just kept on going and said, okay, I'm not gonna unravel it's, anything. It's actually pretty, I, I get what you mean. Yeah. It looks absolutely crazy, but at the same time, it's a work of art. Because like, I, this is so original and that's the great thing about doing something like this with scrap yarn. Only, literally, yeah. only you will have it. Yeah, no one else and in you and the me world. And no one else in the world because nobody's going to tie the exact same amount no. of yarns Never. in the same colors and in the... And have the same leftover yarns at home. No Precisely. One. Yeah. Wow. So that's it. So, and then maybe it's, this is not... Yeah, I'm gonna wear this a lot, but maybe it's not gonna be my favorite one that I'm gonna wear every single day. But yeah. I had fun and a lot of crisis, but yeah. But it's good it's to uh, like unla unravel, yeah. in a, and I mean, it's pretty cool. And I'm sure that that with a pair of jeans and some boots is just beautiful. Yeah, when it gets cold, <laughs> cold, I'm gonna wear it. I see that Maria Martin is saying free people would charge over $500 for that sweater, and I'm sure. Because that's something yeah. you would see like in, you know, designers and, and yeah, you know, true. like super high end design. Like you would I see that kind of stuff. I could never sell my babies. No, no, it me neither. It feels like my, because I put so many, so much hard work and so many tears. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so much joy too. So much no uh, tying knots. Yeah. And yeah, Actually, exactly. My, sometimes I get like, I lose the skin on my fingers for tying From knots. From tying yeah. knots all the time. Yeah. And that's actually Blood, quite sweat and tears. Blood, sweat and tears. Yeah. And that's actually quite fun to uh, also do while you're not actually knitting or crocheting. I'm sure that 
the process of actually making the little yarn balls yeah. is actually also fun because I know I had a lot of fun doing this little guy. It was kind of like, I know it's very pastel and it's very beige and very like, you know, it's not as intense as yours, but I'm trying my best. But it's a little bit like this one. Actually. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. a lot like that one. And I, I think that I was inspired by, by your top because every yeah. time she brings this top at work, I'm like, you don't look at I my... want to like, I just want to quit my life because I and love it so much. And you don't look me in the eyes then you only no. look me. Exactly. Yeah. I'm, I'm only looking at the sweater yeah. and sometimes we mm -hmm. work across. And I'm just like staring at her sometimes. And then I see like, her like what? staring back at me. And she's like, what are you doing, Jen? I'm like, do I have I just, something? I love your sweater so much. I love your yeah. top. Because I know that even if I would try, I will never make that sweater. No, you would make your own. Yeah, in I know. your colors. That's true. Yeah. And that's really the fun part about it. I know. Yeah. Well, guys, I think we have come to an end to today's mm -hmm. episode. That was it, right? Yeah, That I was think it so. for today. Yeah. And we just have to pick a winner. It Let's was a lot see. of knit today, but... I know it was a lot of knit. It's because I knit the most. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You're more But still all of this can be transferred into crocheting as Definitely well. yeah. transferred into crochet. And that's the great part of it because I feel like it's almost even easier to do scrap work with crochet. Yeah, sometimes because it's you don't have to work in the rounds and you can... Yeah. Yeah. You just... You can make different shapes with exactly. crocheting easier exactly. Exactly. than you can do with knitting. Exactly. Yeah. Just just think granny squares. Yeah. And I guess or that's that's squares. the best uh, scrap. Try to start with that with mm. granny squares. Um, just combine colors and, and them together. Yeah, and you can make them together. Sweaters or but that's a whole tops other and bags episode. and yeah. Mm. That's gonna be maybe for yep. next time. All right, guys, let's pick a winner for a Ooh, giveaway. Exciting. If this works. Gonna... Yes, drink some water. Oh, there we okay. go. All right, guys, we're actually gonna gonna end today's entries right now. Close entries. Yeah. Oops. There we go. Did I take some? We haven't picked the winner yet. We're about to. Ooh. I have a mega ball in my head. There we go. Remember, there's a second giveaway for those of you who haven't been able to watch us. You mm -hmm. can just leave it in the comment section. So not in the chat, but in the comment section. Um, and uh, yeah, leave a comment uh, telling us what should we name Freddy's Yarn Monster. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I'm excited about that. I know. <laughs> yeah. You can pick the winner, Freddy. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You can pick the yeah, winner. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And uh, all right. So let's see who is the winner for today's giveaway, guys. A lot of luck to you. And I'm going to pick the winner now. The winner? There we go. Isaya or Ishaya is our winner. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ishaya has won the lovely giveaway. Congratulations. Let's see if she's going to be here. Bam, bam, bam. Mm -hmm. Let's see if she, please, if you're there, Isaya, please write People me so an email uh, to jaya at hobby.dk. I mm -hmm. will actually write down my email if you hold this. I got it. Uh, there we go. Oh, yes. That's that's uh, Freddie's uh, little assistant here. right now. So I'm just going to write it in the chat box. Oh, guys, I cannot believe that we've done it again. Another episode. Another L? It was Another fun episode. For the first time. It really was, right? Should we have uh, Freddy more often with us? Because I think she, I think you did very good. Oh, thank you. I know that I you was said... I a little bit of nervous. I, I know a, you a said... Bit nervous. Exactly. Thinking. Yeah. I know you said you were quite nervous. The first time. The first time is always a little bit oh. nerve-wracking. And then congrats, Ishaya. There we go. Um... <laughs> oh, thank you for the creative suggestion says mary oh guys i'm very excited that we were here next up we will see you again uh very soon for our next live mm -hmm. um we're probably going to do it during the weekday and we're going to switch the time a little bit so we can test out to see if we have more people joining us if we do it maybe in the evening your time that's daytime our time here in europe mm -hmm. We'll figure something out so that it works out for everybody. And meanwhile, please be creative. Go crazy. Have fun. Have fun. Just...
do whatever go with your stash go right away stash. exactly right now just make a few yeah. little balls i would recommend starting there make a, a few little balls like these and just knit and crochet with one little ball to see just how test, it feels how test it, it out test it out and then uh hopefully you'll be in love and basically all patterns can be used for this oh yes yeah not the not just the one we showed no today. exactly every pattern all exactly. the sweaters everything exactly all right guys well yeah. see you next time meanwhile please stay safe be kind mm -hmm. to each other and yeah lots of kisses bye bye Thank you.